What's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm filming here with uh, Akai here. Um, this is my tape deck. The model uh, GXM50. It's a nice tape deck, guys, and I love I love this tape deck. Um, I got this for a very low price and uh, still functioning, still clean. Um, a matter of fact, I cleaned the uh, the headers of this um, player which the middle part the chrome looking piece kind of like a square looking um, metal piece that reads the the ribbon of the tape and that's done and I accomplished that already and now it's very clean sound um, compared before okay guys is a it's a good brand um, some vintage um, brand and uh, how they made the stereos back in the day made in Japan um, Japanese people guys they are very good with stereos the vintage and Japan and US merge um, to build this uh, Marantz um, stereos from tuner to receivers to amplifier yeah um, they do have businesses together and um, the US send the stereos um, in Japan and then Japanese finish the job um, with that stereos and send it back here in America and sell it for a good amount of price um, yeah Moran, Sansui, Akai yeah these are good brands back in the days guys from the 70s um, it has been um, known uh, so one of the you know um, High performance and uh, high ends, yeah, stereos. So this Akai guys, this AA ten ten receiver, it's the small size of one of those uh, receivers from Akai, and there's bigger than this one, um, about up to here maybe, yeah, this high and uh, they are powerful um, receiver yeah but this one is a it's a thin one you know it's a small size but it it has a good sound guys and uh, let's rewind this uh, i want you guys to hear a few sound of this uh akai guys very nice sound the bass with this receiver yeah so this is a it's a set of uh, of uh, stereo from Akai and I have the turntable here it's a nice turntable it's vintage it's an old turntable and uh, I got it for a very low price and it still works and the sound quality is good um can't complain they are not you know new looking turntables but i like the vintage you know so that's why i collect um, you don't see them much anymore nowadays and uh, you can probably yeah buy an ebay but but it costs more money but uh the place that i went and uh, go to flea market and go to Facebook, offer up. So I look around, you know, what people selling. And when I like the vintage looking piece, then I, you know, I leave, uh, leave them a message 
and talk about the price and uh, see it from there yeah um over here guys this is my some of my vinyl records yeah that i collect and i have i do have more um down there they're piled up inside of this uh shelves but uh i don't have time to and some of my tapes i don't have time to dig in there so um it's not a lot of vinyl records but uh i don't even have time to listen to all these records you know, you know um if i have time then i try to listen to it but uh i'm just busy guy um working and making money um this is only just for a hobby but uh i'm not trying to focus this like you know so yeah and up here guys i have my sansui yeah my set of sansui vinyl record player and a sansui g2000 receiver it's a nice piece has a amazing sound yeah and even up here i still have more morants one here it's lafayette standing up there yeah and i want to show you some of my morants down here guys okay these are my morants uh stereophonic yeah receiver has an amazing sound yeah and down here guys my other Morantz is my MR220 it has a nice bass and the sound quality is clear I mean amazing amazing uh, Morantz and it has a fantastic sound and down here guys this is my Technique as you can see that's my Techniques by Panasonic these are hard to find nowadays guys these are sa 8000x and i saw one in ebay and uh, it costs uh 800 dollars for this one here so i'm not selling this guys i mean I, it's part of my collections and uh i keep it because these are hard to find nowadays guys yeah even this one here even this one they are hard to find but uh, once they put it in ebay and sell it they throw a high price for this high end um, stereos because they know that they can make money because of the brands. So Morantz guys is like a Mercedes Benz, yeah. And even over here guys, I have some more here from Sansui. Yeah. As you can see, I have more um, realistic down there. Yeah some up there more stereos guys so here we go and yeah um this is just my stereo collections guys and over here and i have more over here my m you know mcs modular component systems very nice piece guys i want to show you oops sorry about that yeah i guess i did not put it on the right thing so that could mess up my speakers but uh this thing has a beautiful sound guys and buddy of mine he fixed this yeah he fixed this stereo so um let's put it in the fm there you go you guys can hear are a vital part of every community that we serve in the garden state Find out more at njba.com nice, nice and wearebroadcasters.com. So it has a beautiful Jersey, sound. We're New guys. Jersey's broadcasters and we're always on the air when you need us. This message is fine. And up this one here, I just bought this recently, about two weeks ago. Sherwood S7100A. I paid $10 for that. I got a good deal for that. And I use that when I watch my YouTube and I, and I watch it there. Yeah, some more speakers up there. So there it is, guys. Um, this is just 
another video from my studio collections and uh, yeah I don't even have time to listen to all this and use all the stereos you know because when you're busy working and you don't really have time um, you, you don't have you know um, time to just enjoy and relax with your stereos but uh, yeah some of my collections guys so guys that's about it for today and uh, this is my setup from Akai and yeah hopefully um, I should have bought those Sansui speakers yeah I think it's that what is that the SR2000 I think it's a long it's an old um, vintage speakers I should have bought it but uh, I, I got a few speakers already but those speakers are nice it has a nice quality of sound hopefully they'll come back this Friday morning and I definitely buy that if it's still there because you know that could be my Sansui setup with this um, stereos here you know um, but we'll see because I'm thinking of like I cannot you know mix it with Akai and Sansui speakers so definitely if I see those guys selling those speakers again it's Friday morning definitely I can uh, make a set stereos and speakers with this Sansui G2000 and the Sansui turntable up there so I'm just praying that you know they will come back Friday and sell those speakers again because it's a nice looking vintage speakers but uh, definitely I could probably put it in the garage if they come back on Friday and buy it from them and leave it in my garage because I got maybe three four different you know um, speakers from 18 woofer 18 inch and going down you know until I have what yeah I have JVC yeah eight inch woofer so I have a couple you know few of the speakers that I have and that is why I did not decide to get that sensu but I should have because no Sansui is vintage and I can definitely definitely make a set yeah with that Sansui receiver and the player the final record player yeah I should have not let it go you know I should have uh, made a deal with them you know lower the price a little bit and it's just that because I was thinking I have maybe four types of speakers a big and heavy bulky speakers already and I have Sansui, Morantz, um, what else I have, JVC, yeah, and I do have Fisher, but I gave it to my brother because I don't have enough room anymore, so I gave it to him and set up some stereos in his house and uh, I bought a vinyl record player and uh, gave it to him for his birthday, so yeah so that's about it and even this one here guys this glass i got this from uh the place that i go where i hunt the what do you call this um stereos and stuff so i bought this I bought it for a dollar can you believe that very nice looking piece and it's a it's a nice glass and this one too so i pay one dollar for this and i pay two dollars for this that's how I shop guys yeah so right now we're gonna turn this off you know and uh, definitely uh, put this in uh, yeah photo so the boom sound doesn't go through the speakers very nice MCS guys I paid ten dollars for this it was broken and I took it to my buddy's place and they checked it out and then he replaced two pieces of parts inside of the to make the sound comes out again so he replaced those things I ordered in eBay and then I 
I drop it I drop it to his house and then he put it on. Yeah, he he put it into you know where the parts was broken and yeah he charged me 80 bucks for everything with the labor because he put a LED light there because this one doesn't have a light anymore it was shut so you know and uh, he fixed it for me but he charged me 80 dollars so which is not bad I guess um now it's in good working condition again and it's running yeah so it's awesome yeah and up there guys I have my Luxman you know I gotta pull that out because I gotta fix that and uh, think of somewhere like I can put that in the in the shelves or somewhere so guys yeah another video here from uh, my stereo collections and uh, yeah Hopefully I can see some good uh, vintage stereos again next time. Hopefully the guy comes back this Friday morning and, you know, bring those Sansui, um, I think it's the SR2000. And it, it has volume control in the back of the speakers. Oh, man, I should have bought it, really. I, uh, I regret, you know, I wasn't thinking, like, I can put that in my garage and leave it there because that was a good speaker so it's a good price so hopefully he'll come back so we'll see so guys thanks for watching guys and i hope i uh, will see you in the next video with my stereo collections and if i see a new stereo somewhere out there if i if i'm lucky then i can purchase uh, a different looks of a stereo and vintage Serials and uh, yeah, we'll make a video again to share it to you guys Yeah And uh, that's it folks and thanks for watching So for now I say Bye-bye